Part 13. Travel vlogging is not a big earner. Um, it doesn't take a genius to figure out why on, on this one. Uh, what you earn from YouTube is okay if you've got a reasonably sized channel, but it's not a rocket to the moon. Whereas travel, um, if you're a travel vlogger, then you pay for all the travel, and that is very, very expensive in this day and age. Just look at the cost of flights, the cost of hotels, food, drink, just about everything else. Traveling is not cheap in this day and age. And uh, basically, what you earn from YouTube is, you know, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna have to struggle to, to for it to cover all, all of that. So I learned this very, very quickly. Now, since I've been uh, having my channel for, uh, you know, over the years, I've basically been a part-time YouTuber because being a travel vlogger, I've lived in England for half the year and travelled for the other half, and it's been a good little system. I still had a, a day job back in England. Um, which, you know, helped to pay me way. But the idea of being full-time... Well, I am full-time on, on uh, uh, YouTube now. I'm a full-time full traveller, I suppose, now. But that's because I have other little investments put away. I mean, I couldn't live off what I earned simply on YouTube. I mean, it, it, just, it just doesn't add, add up to that much. It's nice to have. But, I mean, if you were a YouTuber and you were in a, another niche... Let's say you're someone who's found a niche where you just sit at home all day and make videos talking about a, cer a, a certain subject and you get big on YouTube. Well, <laughs> I envy you. I envy because if you can do that, if you can sit in the room and just talk to the camera and, um, you, you know, earn lots of money from YouTube, that's great because... Your expenditure isn't a great deal. It doesn't cost a great deal of money to have a camera set up uh, at home and talk about subjects. And if you can earn money from that, then good luck to you. But when you're traveling, you've got to pay all of these things, the flights, the hotels, the food, the drink. Uh, the way I've looked at it over the years, what I earn from YouTube, um, when I make travel videos, it can, it, YouTube can help pay a, a lot towards my travel. But to, to actually subsidise my lifestyle overall, I mean, that's something entirely different. That's why I've had to wait until I'm, I'm my age, really, um, to, you know, to retire on this part, part of the world. So there's other niches where, yeah, you know, if you, you say you earned a certain amount each month, you, you would, you know, have a good profit. Whereas with travel, you're, you're at a loss, really. So if you want to make big money out of travel, remember... Uh, you're going to spend big money as well in order to make big, and the big money isn't guaranteed. I mean, if you look on my Steady Eddie uh, Travels channel, I've been to some places, you know, I've, I, there's European places like Crete, and I've been to Romania and other, other, other places, and the viewing figures for these is not really a, a, any anything special. Um, so... You know, the idea of me making money, I, I, I'd, I'd be at a loss. By the time you pay for all the hotels and everything, uh, you've actually, you know, you've actually lost money. Yeah? You know what I mean? So anyway, if you want to make money from YouTube, then you've got to be big and you've got to be really, really good. Um, but if you're going to retire uh, abroad, then uh, don't expect your YouTube earnings to pay for all of that. You better make damn sure that you've, you've got other things going. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.